There cannot be, in no place in the world, because it's just not possible, there cannot be a true, efficient anti-corruption system where there is not independence of the judiciary. And it feels bizarre to have to say it out loud, but because we have to state the obvious, let's imagine. Let's imagine a member state where the son-in-law of the leader of the country has just been awarded a tender in the context of public procurement uh, concerning European funds, all very fictional, of course. Um, and all of this was done in mysterious ways. There are a number of important problematic failures in the procedures. And this, this new tool that has been created and implemented in this country, we could name it Integrity Authority. Um, and it's, it's, it's just been created and it's a really independent monitoring body. It has serious expertise and good staff. And it will bring the case to court. Um, plenty of fact, plenty of evidence. And then, the president of the highest level of justice in this country, let's call it Supreme Court, um, decides to allocate himself the case to a judge because, you know, he is a friend of the leader of the country. He has been nominated as this, at this job by friends of the leaders, and he has the power to overrule on political cases. Still very theoretical. Um, and so, he gives the case to a specific judge, another friend of all of these people, all friends, all sharing the same interests, the same money. And then, of course, the case drags on and drags on and justice is never made. End of the story. How we can be studying, on one side, the 17 measures to fight anti-corruption in Hungary, and on the other side, not requesting a true plan of reforms for judiciary, bewilders me.